Hello there, my name is Mark Barabas, your Data Protection Pal, and once again, I'm here to answer questions with regards to privacy and data protection. So the term privacy and data protection are quite interchangeably used, and one of the most common questions we get is, what is a privacy law or what is a data protection law? So like I said, privacy and data protection are very often interchangeably used and if I would use a very general term, and some of you might disagree with me, usually people in the West use the word privacy, and more often than not, Asians might use the word data protection. So again, this is just a common observation, but don't hold me to it, all right? So, but what are privacy laws or what are data protection laws? So the GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulations, is the, the gold standard of all privacy laws all over the world and it is the data protection law of the european union the gdpr so click here for more information on gdpr the other common uh, well-known law is the ccpa the california consumer protection act mainly it is made famous because california contains silicon valley and there are a lot of tech firms that spawn from California Silicon Valley. And that's where the CCPA is there to protect consumers from, well, evil people who may abuse uh, data. And CCPA has enforced several laws on big tech firms like Google, Amazon, Facebook. So in other countries like in Asia, where I am, in Singapore, PDPA is the privacy law or the data protection law that we have here in Singapore. So PDPA stands for the Personal Data Protection Act. And there are also three other Southeast Asian countries that use the same abbreviation for their privacy law. And that is Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. They call their privacy law the Personal Data Protection Act. So just in case you are privacy practitioner and you come to Asia and people ask you, do you know about the PDPA? You might want to clarify which country's PDPA you are talking about. Oh, there's also one more country that has just included PDPA as their local privacy law and that is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has also annexed the PDPA as their own privacy law as well. So other privacy laws that are notable are in the Philippines, the National Privacy, privacy Act, and we also have countries like Brazil with the LGPD. We have also countries like South Korea and Japan that have their very mature privacy laws. Other privacy laws that you might want to be interested in are the two biggest economies in the world. When I say big, I say big in terms of population. So we have India, the PDPB, the Personal Data Protection Bill, and China with the Personal Information Protection Law, the PIPL. So these are some of the privacy laws all over the world. And I would love for you to probably watch the videos that I have to talk a little bit more about these laws. And myself, I'm focusing more on Asia, especially Southeast Asia, where I'm based in Singapore. So feel free to connect with me to find out more about the privacy laws in this area. And point of information today is September 2021, when I'm recording this video, we look forward to hearing and seeing more about the PIPL that is going to be passed in China on the 1st of November 2021. And I tell you, the whole world is kind of like shaken a little bit because the PIPL, the Privacy Law of China, is very similar to the GDPR, yet could be more stringent because it is criminal. Oh, talk about criminal. There are some privacy laws that are criminal in nature, which means that Gosh, you can be thrown in jail for not complying with local privacy laws. That is kind of scary. All right, so uh, the, 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 the three countries I remember that have uh, privacy laws that are also criminal in nature. Uh, Malaysia, I believe it's Philippines, and China. So you can go jail for not complying with the law. So that's kind of serious, yeah? So whatever the case, if your country has a privacy law or a data protection law, it's very important that you read it, find a local practitioner who is familiar with the law of your country, and find them for advice. 
yet the way of data protection, the framework for data protection is very similar in all countries because it's, well, it's a framework, yeah? So that's where you could also watch other videos that I have where you can learn about how to protect your data. So my name is Mark Firebus, your data protection pal. So I hope I've given you a little bit of information about the privacy laws all over the world. And I believe there are more countries that will continue to create their, or enact their own privacy law because it is the right thing to do. So my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protector pal. So take care, be safe, and remember to protect your personal data. Bye now.